Welcome friends to another session on factorization of polynomials. We are going to start with first method and this is something called uh, low hanging fruit, right? So in any given polynomial fx, first of all, we need to see whether there are some common factors and we separate it out. Okay. And then automatically the polynomial gets factorized. Okay. What is, what is meant by common factors? For example, let's keep aside algebra for some time. Let us say we had an arithmetic calculation. Let us say we had 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 10. Okay. So this is, let us say I have to calculate this. So can I uh, do this or do you observe that all these numbers are even? So hence, even number means 2 will be a factor of it. So hence, can I write this as 2 into 1 plus 2 into 2 plus 2 into 3 plus 2 into 4 plus 2 into 5 isn't it now all those all these five numbers carry one two so hence i can take out two as common and we say i can write it as one plus two plus three plus four plus five this is what is called taking out common so we are using nothing but distributive property distributive law you can say so I'm using distributive law, reverse of distributive law actually. So hence, I can take out commons like that. Now, this was in case of arithmetic. Similarly, in case of algebra also, this could be the case. For example, let us say if I have x plus 1, let us say this is fx. fx is x plus 1 plus x plus 1 times x plus 2. Okay. So again, if you see, there are, you know, this, there is a common factor here which what is the common factor here if you see the common factor in both the terms here first of all how many terms two terms are there yes it can be simplified into multiple terms but right now the form is uh, you know in this form there are two factors oh sorry two terms so hence i can pull x plus one as common factor isn't it so if i pull x plus one whole as a common factor so within brackets what will be left so x plus one in the first term is nothing but x plus one times one isn't it so hence what will be left one here and what will be left in the second one x plus two isn't it isn't it now how to check whether we have taken the factors com the common factors correctly or not if you expand it now so it should give back you give you the given polynomial back so x plus one if, if you have to expand this expression you will get x plus one plus x plus one times x plus two which was given here. so hence we have taken right common factor so hence this can be further simplified as x plus and this 2 plus 1 can be added so x plus 3 so hence you see just by taking commons i could factorize this now mind you in factorized form there will be something into something into something into something like that okay there will not be any plus or minus sign so this is called fact, you know, factorized form. So this is a factorization, right? But let's say if you express it like something plus or minus something, minus something, this is not factorization. This is, this is not factor. What do I mean is x square minus 3x plus 2. This is not factored. This is, there are, you know, this is not expressed as factors. But the same thing can be written as x minus 1 times x minus 2. Now both are same, but this is, not factored so there are, i am not showing the factors here right but this is factorization okay so i converted the polynomial and expressed it in terms of its factors product of its factors so this is factorization so similarly any given polynomial can be converted into or um, could be expressed as product of its factors okay now let us take another example let us say we have um x minus one this is example another example so let us say we have x minus one times x minus two and then plus x minus one times x minus three right so what will be this uh how do you find out do you see any common factors yes there are this is common factor x minus one is common to both so hence i will write x minus 1 common and then within brackets whatever is left so how to find out whatever is left here so 
the first factor you first term you take and divide this by x you know the common factor so what is left only x minus 2 so here it will be x minus 2 and again same thing apply to the next term so if you divide this term by x minus 1 you'll get what x minus 3 so this is how you pull factors common right so hence if you simplify now it will be x minus 1 and x plus x is 2x and minus 2 minus 3 is minus 5 so i this is not this one was not factored but now this is factored form both are same okay another example could be let us take another example and the example is let us say we have x times x square plus y square plus z square then another term is y times x square plus y square plus z square and third is z times x square plus y square plus z square so you can see we have this common factor x square plus y square plus z square so you can write x square plus y square plus z square within brackets x plus y plus z isn't it so hence i converted a non-factored form into a factored form now many a times what will happen it will not be that obvious that there is a common uh, factor so the, in that cases you have to arrange and um, arrange the polynomial in such a way that you can extract factors for example uh, the given example itself if you see uh, could be this could be you know uh, the example here was let us say x minus 1 or x square minus 3x plus let's say 2 this plus let's say it's given x square minus 4x plus 3 so now it doesn't look like there is a common factor in in this form right but then if you you know later on when we'll see splitting the middle term and all that uh, mechanism so you'll see this is nothing but x minus 1 x minus 2 so i first converted it into factors and then this one can be written as x minus 1 and x minus 3 how i am writing this will you know uh, deal with this in later sessions but right now let us say you have to be aware that this is how it has to be done and then you take care or you take common x minus 1 and finally you will write x minus 2 plus x minus 3 and you simplify to get x minus 1 2x minus 5 right so many a times it will not be that obvious but then after grouping and you know arranging you will get the common factors so this is the first type first or first method so first method is as i tell you um uh, i told you that you know it is a low hanging fruit so first of all in any such uh, polynomials if you get first try to see if you can extract out some common factors and then we can simplify or we can go ahead with further factorization